guys. You guys can help me. I'm reading Sandra's message here about her bank account. Uh, you guys can help me know. Do you hear me? Can you hear me? Let me turn this up a little bit. I think. Okay, that's as high as it's gonna go. Can't believe you got her. Oh, okay. So, okay, hold on. Let me open up my chat over here so I can see this better. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you all. Yeah, we have 18,000 as of yesterday morning. All I know is I woke up and I was looking at other messages and I let Diamond Press know. So they've raised the discount to 18%, which is really great. But um, yeah, so let me know if you can hear me. A couple, you know, people here. I have my technical little thing here. I'll wait. <laughs> all right, thank you, Renee. Angie, yeah, thank you, ladies. Uh, yeah, 18% discount, and they already uh, upped it to that. I think our cap is going to be 20, but that's really generous for everyday shopping. I mean, that's awesome. Um, exciting for unboxing. Yeah, so, okay, well, I'm so sorry. I see a lot of messages. I'm. Thank you, Suzanne. Hi, Jan's Creations and Patricia and ladies. Um, hi, Tony. Uh, so, yeah, so, okay, thank you, says we hear you. Um, Oh, okay, so yesterday I was just like glued to my TV and like eating pizza at lunch and ordering Thai food because that's my lucky food. And, um, oh, thank you, Sandra. And um, this morning I woke up and I'm taking Miranda to school and the box was sitting out there. I'm like, yeah, this came yesterday? <laughs> it was like, it was, you know, super early. I don't think they dropped it off this morning. So it's kind of a bummer. Hi, Joni from Tennessee. She says, oh, thank you so much, Netwear. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, no, so it came yesterday, which is insane. I mean, that's like, what, two days? One day? When was the thing on the second? Today's the fifth, and it came in yesterday. So, um, yeah, so I was happy to see it. Uh, it was fast, Jan, I know. Um, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to unbox this thing right now. So if I have any links in the description box that are already there, they are affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase any items through those links. Um, and this is um, my little disclaimer in writing about that. Hi, Cheryl. All right, guys. Um, again, I don't. I, I'm assuming it's still available. I don't think it's sold out. It didn't sell out, right? Yes. I'm getting some coffee. I have it right here. Yeah, Diane. I think it was probably late. Well, because I left my house to get dinner around five o'clock, I guess a little bit before that. But I didn't really go back out. Now that I think about it, I just sat on my couch doing what they call doom scrolling on Twitter there. Um, let's see. Hold on real quick. I'm going to try to open this up over here so I can see the chat over here. Uh, but I can see there. Yeah, at least that was super fast. I uh, must have missed this one on craft day. Um, the year of craft was the today special. Uh, so I should have the link for the box in the description box. I put it there. Let me make sure. You guys are so funny. I believe in my Salon Nouveau. Oh, that's great. Yeah. My, uh, she said some of the things out. Ugh. I put it in there, but I guess YouTube took it out. Okay, hold on. I'll put the link back in right now. I'm telling you, sometimes I'll do edits, and then it'll keep it, and sometimes it lets it go. Uh, surprise, it actually didn't sell out. Yeah, I, you were surprised by that, Maida? I wasn't surprised it didn't sell out, only because of the price. Um, I know a lot of people were like, it's a little much. Um, you know, hold on, Sandy. I'll put it in right now. Um, that'd be really great if you guys use those. I really appreciate it. That's why I had mentioned it. I'm like, obviously, I don't have the box to show you when it was the craft day, but um, you guys know I'm going to do at least several tutorials on this, so uh, I appreciate uh, the support in that way of using the links. Yours hasn't shipped yet, Patricia. I'm sorry. Anybody's having... Uh, Diane saying she's having difficulties watching. Is anybody else? It looks fine for me, but I'm using my cell phone, my iPhone, which is like a 7. <laughs> it's super old, and uh, my husband always makes fun of me about it. And I don't think, okay, I put the link in there, guys, if you want to use it now. You just have to refresh. If it's, obviously, if you look in the description box, it's not going to be there because you guys already logged in and then I changed something. But, um, Sandra, I just added the links right now, so um, you should be able to see it now. Let's see. Let me go in there myself. This is weird. <laughs> um, let me just clear this up right quick. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I put it there and... I'm fine on TV and tablet. Great. Okay. I'm not receiving mine. Awaiting shipping. Yeah, that happens too. Yeah, so it looks like it's still available in the single ship without the Gemini and the bundle with the Gemini, but not the auto ship option. So it's just this box. You don't get the auto ships coming later. Uh, thank you, Don. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, so it's still available. And again, if you want to see the links, just refresh your, your feed. I don't know why 
I can't get into my own video here. <laughs> Usually if I click on it, I can watch the video. I want to see the chat here. But I guess, you know what, it's probably better just to watch it in front of me. Ah, oh, Diana, thank you. She says, make sure to like the video. Okay. So I was just giving a moment for everyone to come in. It's been about five minutes. Okay, so the links are now in the description box. Again, they are affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. And again, there's my disclaimer. And I kind of want to have my computer open just in case. Thank you, guys. There's almost 100 of us here to chat and to see this unboxing. So the box is next to me. To be honest, I think the box is smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> the box is smaller than I thought it would be. But let me get that. Thank you guys so much for the 18,000 uh, saying congrats. <laughs> Congratulations, I guess. I don't know what to call it. What am I doing? This is so crazy. Hold on. I'm just trying to get in here just so that I can see the comments there and here. Oh, thank you, Molly. You know, I try to keep this area looking pretty good <laughs> if I'm going to be on with you guys. Is the lighting okay? Is it too dark? It's because that window behind me, I think, is putting in a, a lot of light behind me, but... That doesn't really matter. So Jen says she thought the box would be huge. I did too. And when I saw it, I'm like, well, this is not what I expected at all. But let's see. Um, let me just open up this video real quick just so I have the chat in both areas so I can read both. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. I figured because it was daytime, it should be okay. But um, like the other night when we got on and it was a big mess and I was like running around like a chicken with its head cut off, um, I just had these two lights on and it was perfect. Okay. So again, I just wanted to have the chat in two spots so I can kind of read it on both. Okay, so this is the box. That's not that big, right? Uh, this way. Let's go this way. I don't know. I just figured it was going to be huge, but um, let's see what happens. I'm just going to open it up. Joyce, where are you going to set up the nine boxes? <laughs> Do you have room? I'll find some room. I don't know. My husband wants me to move upstairs. Um... We have a loft that literally has a, uh, a pool table that no one uses. It was kind of from the previous owner, but it's upstairs, and then they were older, and they were like, do you guys want it? We're like, yeah, we want it. We never use it. So the whole loft there is huge, and I was like, but I don't want to record up there. So my husband's like, no, put everything up there, and then just have a studio down where you have it now, right, in the craft room I have now. Record and do things in there, but clean it up and have <laughs> everything upstairs. I'm like, ah, maybe. We'll see. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, you always have at least one room for crafting. But then I feel bad. So I did order this with the auto ships. Yeah, Sandy should have a pool table that we don't use either. I know, but I would hate to say, I don't know. I feel like when people visit, which never happens, especially now, <laughs> maybe they want to play pool, but it's like we don't play it. When we first got here, we did. We're like, oh, this is awesome. But then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Molly. Yeah. So that's smart to have the disclaimer for now. Okay. So this is the actual box, and then there's like a something down here that makes it look like it needs the box to be that big, but it doesn't. <laughs> there's like some kind of thing down at the bottom that's making it uh, look bigger. What I was going to do possibly is move out a little bit further. Let me see. Again, this is all very technical stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, Marlene, we put our towels on it, the laundry, that's, you know, the clean laundry. Okay, let me, I think we'll open this first because the other part is, oh, that's smaller? Well, yeah, I got smaller, but what I'm trying to do is make it so you can see more of the box. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to pop it out right now. I can tilt this down, I guess. Let me do that. Let me lift this up a little bit, and then I'll tilt it down a little bit. How about that? that and hopefully I don't lose y'all in the process okay Ooh. okay that's good yeah there we go I know I wish I would have ordered this but I'm running out of room too yeah I'll, I'll make room <laughs> all right guys I have to go pick up Miranda not too again like around 10 something or other I know you guys are just seeing my, my double chin. All right. <laughs> Let's open this up. And here we go. Julia says, how did you get it so fast? I have no idea, Julia, because to be honest, I ordered, I think, well, I ordered, oh, yeah, I ordered at midnight, right? Remember we were all live together, and that's when I ordered it, but I will not get a box cutter, Lisa. <laughs> at least I brought scissors this time, because I thought, okay, people are going to tell me. <laughs> so I brought scissors, and uh, and I'm still getting, getting guff, or what do they call it? <laughs> Okay, um, 
I know you're barely seeing my face, but oh well. Um, I know you guys are here to see my face, but uh, all right. Uh, yeah, it's really cute. I mean, obviously, it's just in here. The little drawers. So let's see what's in here, and then we'll open the uh, the other stuff. Yeah, exactly. So Dad is saying we get our stuff fast in California because we have um, a warehouse in Fontana. So whenever I order Anna Griffin stuff, that usually comes in like a day or two for that same reason. But um, some of the other items don't come in that fast. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but let's, uh, let's do this. Hold on. We'll just start with the top. How about that? I'm going to break this up just a little because I feel like weird that my head's just kind of like cut off. <laughs> just a little bit. I prefer the three doors instead of the cascading levels. Yeah, I do too. And honestly, sometimes those cascading levels, they like cave in on each other. All right, let's open this first one. A year of craft. Oh, okay, it's stuck down. It has a little sticker, so we're just going to rip that, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it just says to go to crafterscompanion.com. I don't know. Okay. Oh, that wasn't good. I'd rather just leave the drawer there so we can open it up. Okay. So on this top level, what do we got? They had yours packed and ready for you. <laughs> and probably they knew I was going to get it. Um, okay, so we have this guy. Um, so the little, like half pearls, but they're more like the little crystal ones. Um, a stamp set with like sentiments. Just words, basically. Looks like. Uh, like calendar type words. The boxes are very pretty and it's, it's sturdy. It feels really nice. I don't know if you hear that. So that's uh, good. When I lean in closer to the camera, well, you know what it is, Renee? Because I'm putting my arm in front of this thing, I think. So I'll just uh, let me move this over just a little bit. How about that? Okay. Um, another stamp set, this one. Let me find something white that I can put behind this. That one with the little cake. Can I measure it for you guys? I will do that if I can, yeah. Maybe they'll offer on CC. They did bring some of the other compendium boxes to Crafter's Companion, so I suppose they might. And then we have this stamp set that has like sentiments. And not by the Crafter's Companion, but I bought some Anna Griffin new dies. Yes. Oh, okay. I know I ordered a lot of Anna Griffin things too, um, including the intricate pop up, because I was like, I could probably figure that out, make something myself. But then I thought, well, I'll just get them. <laughs> the cake one is cute. And then we have the little words. Of course, we have our assorted gems. And then we have the assorted pearls. These are cute because they're, well, I would say they look a little bit smaller, but um, they're just like that one small, small size. Super cute. Uh, card blanks. And of course, there's lots of card blanks. I don't think there's anything like super special about these. They're just like five by seven, maybe six by six. It looks like four by six, then maybe a three inch square. And then in the same top one, there's a stencil. And I already forgot what the stencil's for. Do you guys remember? Does this make like a little pocket or something? That's what it looks like, I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I was telling you, I was paying attention to the shows, but not really, so I was kind of all over the place. Okay, that's what was on the top level. Oh, my kids put something on there. Something sticky on the table. <laughs> So when you get a chance, would you please measure the box? Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I will. Since that's the second or third question I've had about that. I thought I heard Sarah say this box would not be available on her website. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So, okay, second level. Let's open this up. Oh, and then, Diana, did they ever put the uh, MIDI by itself? I didn't see it. And people kept saying nope. And it was the end of the night. I was watching, and they were like, nope. But maybe later, obviously. Just, uh, I didn't see it. Could use that for completed cards. Oh, okay. Get the marquee from my from Diamond Press. It's around forty bucks. I know. I love the marquee. But <laughs> uh, okay. On the next level, oh, these are pretty colors. So we have ribbons, and a lot of times they might be colors that eh, they're a little garish. It's not really my thing, but these are pretty uh, spring colors. Again, it has like the three t uh, sizes. They usually do like three different sizes of the ribbon. And on this back one, they have this here. And this is like the grow grain, which I love. Um, not grow grain, like silky, um, satin ribbon, sorry. This is the grow grain over here. And again, the same color. These are really pretty colors. I like that. Wish the marquee had a bigger opening. So, yeah, and I mean, what are we going to do? <laughs> they, they went bigger. I think that's, you know, what they went with. Um, 
And now the MIDI is a little bit larger again, like they said, that plays like a six by nine. Okay, some more stamps on this one. This is really cute. I did like these stamps. Will the folders from the marquee be used for the MIDI? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't, and I wouldn't try it, but that's just me. Sarah said the MIDI will be available for 90 bucks. Yeah. Um, so here's another cute, oh, is this suitcases? I thought it was a cake. That is so cute. The little suitcases stacked, and then we have our little world and all that. I'm, you're probably right, Jana. I would say they probably do, but... Okay, another set of stamps that are adorable. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, Sandra, I know. Sandra's out in Belgium, so a lot of times she can't get the same things. Okay, now this looks like dyes central. The next things are all dyes. Um, I don't want this to fly away. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Um, so, again, the little tag dyes that help you make, like, a little decorative tag. So, just like we did with the... Um, the Christmas cookie sets, or what's it called? The Christmas, like, holiday gifts. Uh, I forgot what they called it. But anyway, you just cut your rectangle, and then you're going to line this up on it and cut that out. So you have a nice cute tag. It was on there later that night, was it? I didn't see it. Sharon says, I'm hoping the MIDI on the CC site soon. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then uh, dies, nesting dies, little hearts. Um, the only thing, and I always look at things kind of funny, these don't really nest because if you look at them the way they're stacked, they're not the same shape. It'll be weird to stack like this top one with this one inside. You know what I'm saying? It's not perfectly symmetrical like out to here. But anyway, so those are those. It doesn't say nesting, I guess. <laughs> um, and then these are nesting circles. As you can see, they go right into inside each other. Oh, Suzanne's saying they're probably thicker, right? If they can... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the MIDI will be for on sale by itself for later. We were just wondering if they had it now. <laughs> uh, Sandy says they needed one more heart. Yeah, no, it, it was, it, it's not nesting, that's all. Um, this little cutie, and it doesn't look too hard to work with because it does have small pieces, but they aren't the smallest thing. So, like, if you're going to make this little tree, you know, you have your little tree, and then you have the little um, leaves, and you just line them up. It's cute. And then the little bird, an apple. Um, we have a, I don't know, I was going to say, is this on the, so this cuts out completely, it's not like an on the edge die, it just cuts out completely, um, this little piece of lace that is too short for a standard A2 size card, but maybe if you were to do the card long ways or something, you know what I'm saying, it's too short to go along the side, it would just be a little bit too short. <laughs> They did not offer the MIDI, and I just said, oh, and she watched all the shows. So you died? I don't know what happened. Something must have happened. Obviously, something happened. Okay. Um, st oh, I love these kind of things. So happy birthday, hello, and love. That's what I always say. I know these aren't, like, the most, wow, I got to get that, you know, or even, like, when Tonic has things like that. Like yesterday, they had um, their bundles. You really, these come in handy. I have a ton of Anna ones that I should pull out more often, but just a little topper, little words, it works out really well. Yeah, Shannon. They, at the time, you can only get it in the box, but then they supposedly, hi, Belinda, um, we're going to have it separately is what I was hearing. Sexy Harlem, hello. I haven't seen you in a minute. Oh, yeah. No, I think we're all tired. Molly, <laughs> I had joked um, that uh, Mercury was in retrograde and everything felt kind of crazy, but that ended yesterday, you guys, so maybe that's why today's like, oh, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, here we are. Oh, this is really cute. So this is a whole just ton of... Um, flowers and you know they're a cute card size I think for cards this is a cute one right here the long little guy and then uh, yeah so Lisa says yeah they did have it later in the evening for 90 bucks but now sold out I did not see it I didn't see it on the site I didn't see it. <laughs> that's crazy I must have just mentioned it real quick I don't know um, okay well this is cute I had seen this um, Oh, okay, interesting. So this is the uh, little atlas die, but the way they used it, actually, I don't know how they used it. Oh, this stamp right here, with the little flowers. But I thought, oh, maybe it goes with this wreath one, but I guess you could put the wreath in there. I don't know, I'll probably just use it with the world. It's kind of different, <laughs> uh, but there's those. I need to give astrology readings. <laughs> No, it's so funny. My dad always has, like, not so much premonitions, but he, he senses things. And he knows things. I'm like, and sometimes he's right. I'm like, dang. <laughs> it's the Puerto Rican, you know. We're very close to the earth, you guys. 
<laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Okay, um, <laughs> these are another set of metal dies, and it makes like a little circle. Um, and then little tiny, tiny ones. Like, what is this about? What are these little guys about? <laughs> They're super tiny. I do like the flower ones, too. So cute. All right, I'm going to be, what is it, Madame Cleo, or what's her name? <laughs> I'll be the new generation. Or uh, who is that lady? Dionne Warwick? What did Dionne Warwick do about that? Isn't she like a psychic or she had some kind of psychic thing? I don't know. Anyway, all right, we have these uh, inserts. Now, I know I'm looking at this funny and I probably look cross eyed when I'm like. Um, these are for the little three inch cards. How cute is that? I mean, it's tiny, but that's really cute. It's a little vellum insert. See, Diane says we're close to the earth. What he was. Yes, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, but one time I called him and. Uh, anyway, who cares? But I was like, how did he. No, and he, anyway, he talked about it before I, did, I even said anything, uh, whatever was going on. So it's kind of funny. I even called my husband at work. I'm like, do you know what my dad just told me? <laughs> uh, trips me out. Anyway, so there's that. And there's a few for the different sizes. So for each size of car that they have in there, they do have inserts of vellum inserts. So that's really pretty. I mean, it's nice with the different uh, sentiments. Sanders is loving the box. I know. I hope you can get one or I don't know how they do that. Okay, uh, there's a code for it, but I think it's about 30 bucks too expensive, <laughs> plus you have to pay shipping. Okay, let's put this back. Um, so yeah, if you think about the MIDI, they want 90 bucks, huh? I mean, I'm sure we can get it with on sale or different discounts, or with the 50 bucks in the box, I think that's pretty good. Because if you think about it, cuddle bugs were what, $100? $150? I don't know. Psychic Friends Network, that's the one. <laughs> I was like, what did Dion Warwick used to do? That's, that's the one. Okay. Oh, see. There goes something. All right. Last row. So those are the first two. I know a lot of people are asking, you know, that even that night, you think it's worth it. I would never, uh, to be honest, even when I do, like, reviews or things like that, I, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable saying it's worth it or not. Unless the item really is just like, okay, this is ridiculous. It was too hard to work with. I'll let you guys know, right? Um, you guys know that. But other than that, it's up to you. I mean... I know some people buy things just because they like them. They don't have a coupon. They don't care. They're like, I want to get that right now. And uh, for me, I'm like, let's get a coupon. Let's get a little deal. <laughs> and then so if it's worth it, you know, I don't know. Uh, Jan says she's kind of regretting not getting the one with it. I know. The reason I didn't, I got it without the MIDI is because I was like, I have so many machines. Again, I want to get the Tangerine. Hopefully, I'll be able to review that or get one whenever they come back and stock on Tonic. I have, you know, the big shot, I have the cuddle bug, and I use my marquee, like, literally every day, and I just, I, I, I didn't need it. And then I was like, what if I don't like it, and then I have to return the whole thing together? I don't want to do that, because I wanted to keep this. Did I pre-order the exploding box bundle? Me? No. Um, I didn't look into it enough to, to pop on that one, but I'll, I'll see what happens. Is the Christmas companion box bigger than that box? As far as size, I'm going to measure it in a little bit, but, um... That is so weird. Okay. I thought that box fell, but I guess just the scissors fell. I'm like, didn't this box fall? But I didn't pick it up. Oh, creepy stuff. Okay, let's put this up here. Oh, now I got it. <laughs> um, I'll measure the box in just a minute. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be sexy, Harlem. It's smaller. You girls are showing your age with a Dionne Warwick reference. Um, all the cool kids know who Dionne Warwick is, okay? <laughs> all right. So let me open this up. And then um, so the envelopes for all the different uh, cards, card bases. You guys are so funny. Um, let's see. Okay, and then these little guys. Well, how do you guys use these? I don't really use these because they're so tiny. Like, I don't know what to do with this. Just like a little insert, kind of like I did with the, um, the Christmas box where you kind of just rub to, uh, to the white cord or something. You know, I don't know. Let me know. So it's just <laughs> Tracy says she remembers or Tracy, sorry, that all her uh, cousins were calling into to, uh, Psychic Friends Network. Um, Big Daddy Gemini with the junior plates. Yeah, yeah, that's why for me it wasn't something I wanted to get this time around. But maybe, I mean, if I see it on sale, I'll probably grab one because I always like to review things. But by then you guys are going to know what you think about it, I think, But as far as the MIDI. Okay, so we have these little guys, a little embossing folder. Uh, there's a couple in there. Um, this one has a couple too, and so there's like a flourish, and then there's like a um, wood grain. Oh, uh, oh, see, God, this is Dion Warwick's niece was a patient of my husband. Um, 
Did you guys see the uh, Anna Griffin video I did this morning? It came out really cute. We made a handmade belly band for the card that we made, and then I just run it through um, when these guys, just the, you know, half and then the other half. Hi, Bevy. That's what I have as well, Diana. Those are perfect for you. Yeah. A lot of people, all something. <laughs> as soon as you try to watch a video. Uh, yeah, it happens. Okay, so we're on the last thing, and then all that's left is paper. So let me look at these pretty papers. They look really nice. It's a nice assortment. Um, I know somebody had made a comment in the last video. I try to go back and see the comments because maybe on the next video I'll be able to, you know. Um, I, I, hold on real quick. I don't use them either, but I guess you could just use it on one side of the card on a smaller piece of paper. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or you just pop it in there. The paper does look very, very pretty. But somebody had said that I wish their paper was thicker. So, I mean, it's really meant as a layering paper, but this one... Oh, I think they heard your thoughts. I can't remember who had mentioned that this, uh, when we were doing our, our live on the kickoff of the show. This is thicker. Can you, hear the, can you hear that? You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it's a lot thinner. Not as thin as like typing paper, but thin, you know? So, uh, was it you, Diane? Because that's what you were saying. You said, I wish the paper was better quality, too thin. That's my own opinion, but guess what? I just said this is thicker. This feels definitely thicker than the papers I normally put in the box. So, that's good because it has a white core, and if you want to do some stuff with it, you know, you can do that. So, let's see. Oh, are they selling the paper separately? That'd be so nice because it's really pretty. Are you saying they are, or are you asking? <laughs> so, this is really pretty. Look at this. Oh, just these two together already. I love that. Love it. Um, let's move over. This is going to be hard for me to show in front of me, but okay. So, we have these guys. This is like yellow pattern. Oh, and then I'm going to block the camera. You just gotta take my word for this one. I think, oh, here we go. We'll just hold it up here. There we go. Now we're cooking. Uh, with gas, is that what they say? <laughs> it's cute paper. They've done this paper before in another kit. I remember seeing this, but again, much thicker. It's not thick enough to, like, this would be a card base, but it's pretty uh, good thickness. So pretty. <laughs> Molly's on two streams. Who's, a, oh, am I cutting into Crafter's Companion scream, scream? What are we doing? I said scream, but anyway. The paper is really, really pretty. Look at this one. I love that. Uh, look how these together. I think that'd be really cute to do something with those. So yeah, I'm looking forward to <laughs> cooking with gas. <laughs> That's the saying. But look at that. Even those two. Really cute. Oh, sexy color. I'm glad. I love that quick drying. Uh, no, they don't call it tonic quick drying. Um, what do they call it? Um, premium adhesive or something? I, I love it. And then it's always out of stock. I know. Maybe, maybe Craft Stash? I don't know. Maybe scrapbook.com? Oh, no. So uh, Michelle was saying she wanted to get it, but the shipping and tax for Puerto Rico without the MIDI was $48. That's crazy. Um, these are really pretty papers. I'm sorry. If they sell this separately, grab this paper pack. <laughs> okay, so now it looks like we're getting into maybe, I don't know if it's Christmassy, but just a little bit different. And then this little pink one. Yeah, no, really nice colors. This really has me happy. I know we have lots of papers, but this is nice. Tonics Deluxe Adhesive. There it is, Angie. It's my favorite. And you know what? Even when I watch Spellbinders videos or, like, whatever, they use that, too. It's good stuff. <laughs> I don't, I'm assuming they have their own glues, right? Like, yesterday I got that um, strip glue, but really pretty paper here. Aw, look at this one. I love that. And, of course, with this paper I just put down, really nice. Oh, this girl, um, Jamie's saying she bought autumn papers on the Crafts and Companion website. It was like tissue paper. Very disappointing. Um, yeah. Hi, Letty. So I resorted to getting some papers instead. Okay, so then we have this pretty checker that kind of, I would put these two together even though they're funky. The leaves is really, yeah, the leaves one's very pretty, Jan. And then we have these colors. This is an interesting one. It's like greens, but it looks almost blue. And then we have the pretty flowers there. I am loving the paper. <laughs> Sexy Harvest says, now she wants to order the box just for the paper. To be honest, this is what got me. I just saw that they had it there, and I'm like, oh, okay, it'll be cute. But these are better papers than I imagined, because uh, I know in the winter box, we like the box. I like the box. I kept it. But the papers were kind of like, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, it, wasn't, it wasn't my uh, favoritist. These are gorgeous. I, this even, like, it looks so pretty. I even have a fabric that's like this. Actually, in my craft, uh, my fabric stash. 
Um, and then this kind of geometric design, we're getting to the end. So there's two sheets of each, and I'm assuming they're eight inch square, so it'd be nice for a, um, a scrapbook too. Mini album. Yes, uh, I just mentioned Sexy Harlem. I'm sorry, yeah, they are eight inch squares. Yeah, Julia, so this one, she says she likes their paperweight. This one's much thicker than I expected. This is cute. A little bit Halloween-y if you wanted, and with that wood even. I like the way the colors are kind of matched up. Like, I can go through this, and I'm going to keep them in the same order. Look at that. And this is the last one. Yeah, Angie, I know. A lot of people were saying that about the paper, that it's so thin. And it was, it's, it's, uh, that, that surprised me. I don't know if Sarah mentioned it, that it was thicker. I would have, uh, you know what I'm saying? If <laughs> she's talking about it, I'd say, oh, this is some good thick paper because it's really nice. More paper, more fun. It's so funny. Um, so as they're going through this, um, I was watching, what's her name? Suzanne Runyon, right? And she's like showing her the card that she made, following the instructions. And then she's like, and everything's in here, because they keep talking about everything's in here, everything's in here. And then she's like, okay, um, you know, everything's in here. She's, and she showed her card. She's like, I mean, you, you do need some glue, maybe some adhesive, some dimensional, some white paper, but everything's in here. <laughs> and I was like, the white paper? <laughs> like, why isn't there white paper in here? But then it reminded me that there was the black paper, remember the other day in that eclipse kit. I'm like, they literally showed that you should use black paper, and there's no black paper in the kit. So it just made me laugh. And obviously scissors and stuff like that. But, yeah, see, Diana's saying, I, I don't see why they didn't throw in, like, a tape runner or at least some kind of dimension. Something, you know what I'm saying? Because then that pretty much is everything that's in here. <laughs> yeah, Sexy Carla, that's what made me laugh. I'm like, she should have just not said anything. She's like, I mean, you still need this, this, this. <laughs> like, a list of things. And I was like, why? And the white paper. And it made me laugh. I, it, I, I was like, why did she mention you need white paper? That's kind of interesting. But you do. Sometimes you get with the layering or whatever else. But, um, but this paper is also thick. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is, listen, this is, this is cardstock. This is like some probably, not as thick as their black paper, but probably as thick as their white stamping paper. So like 300 GSM or something. That's good. And it has a white core. You know I love a white core because then we can do our little special stuff with it. Did you get the big book? Joni, um, I'm assuming you mean the binder? Yes, the binder is here. It just, I haven't gone through it yet. So we're going layer by layer in the paper. I went through every single color because, you know, we got nothing else to do, huh? <laughs> You're like, move on, let's go. All right. There might be white paper in here. There's some white paper. I don't know why she... Well, anyway, who cares? All right. Oh, or inks, right? I guess we need ink, too. But that's okay. Uh, those are, you know. Okay, so we have the pink kind of coral paper. I'm just going to go through these kind of quickly because these are really thick. This is so nice. <laughs> I know Suzanne can sell me. Yeah, she can, for real. Even though sometimes I'm like, come on. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll buy it. <laughs> so as you can see, the aqua color, kind of like a green, a little bit of a light blue, a little orangey color. I mean, these are a little bit deeper orange. Will you be getting the auto ship? Yes, I got the auto ship option too. Wish they sell the box empty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's nice. I know uh, Anna Griffin sells boxes like that, right? Um, should include color pencils. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. There wasn't much. I think they could have gone a little bit more and done something like that, right? Maybe at least a black ink, a tape runner, glue runner. What else? Because then the other boxes, even on that first one, they had a lot of basic things in there you might need. But Okay, so there's some green paper. Anyway, I don't know. This is really pretty colors. I love this color palette, the way it's moving along. And it's super thick paper. <laughs> Um, that's what happens when you're on your phone. My neighbor called me. I am so sorry. Ugh, you know what? Oh, I should put Do Not Disturb next time. All right. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen again. No one ever calls me. Like, literally, I don't get phone calls. I think my mom's the only person that calls. Um, anyway, so we have all these pretty papers. And there's some white paper, but I think that's probably what she meant, like stamping, like coloring paper, you know? Um, these are super thick, super nice. Okay, so that's everything in the boxes. I'll try to, I like to put my papers back inside the plastic, which is weird. But a black ink pad, they definitely need that. Yeah, right? Exactly. And now that we're talking about a black ink pad, maybe a little cheap, you know, throw away acrylic block. <laughs> like the kind you get for a dollar in the Michael's dollar section. Something. Yeah, but then we'd be saying, oh, this is kind of a cheap acrylic block, right? I don't know. Okay. So that's the box. You guys want me to measure it? I'm going to go get... Uh, measuring tape and you guys can admire my equipales while I'm gone. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs>
These are my new chairs. All right, I'll be right back. So I did film a video of my Mexican chairs coming in, so I'll have that for you guys if you want to see it, but I know it's kind of silly. Oh, my neighbor even left me a message. Ooh, that's not good. What time is it? 9.34? Hmm. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so this is eight and three quarters inches square cubed. <laughs> eight and three quarter inches, guys. Um, so it's not that big. Okay, hold on. I'm lying about cubed or squared or whatever because it's nine inches across the top. So it's eight and three quarter around here, up the top, and then it's uh, nine inches wide. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's nine inches this way here, eight and three quarter down this way, and eight and three quarter. Okay, I know you guys, I do math real quick, but um, you know, you want me to talk about depth, width, and height, right? <laughs> Thank you guys. The chairs are beautiful. The card boxes are cardboard. So this is. Yeah, this is some good stuff. It feels really, really nice. I'm super sturdy. Like the um, the chipboard, I'm assuming the chipboard is like, it's a good, eh, it's about a quarter inch. A little bit less than a quarter inch thick. So that's nice. Okay. And then this is the ring binder. And this is cute. We'll see. I mean, I don't have room for all this stuff, so I'm happy they gave me the box. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So right now, remember when you did, remember? I guess when I when we were on with Crafters Companion, I fixed the stuff behind me to be like pretty much all Crafters Companion like boxes and stuff like that. Boxes, and that's where I've kept them now. I don't have room for all the stuff. Okay, we read that one. Great box for newbies. It, it did come in really fast, Windstar. Okay, so this is a nice thick box, so it's not like damaged or anything. Oh, this is cute. So this is the binder. I don't know if I need to measure it, but if you guys want me to measure it, let me know. Um, I was going to say, I can feel things are falling out. It's because they didn't put it in the... Uh... Let me get rid of this, sorry. Yeah, the binder looks really nice. And I like that it's really well packaged, so that's what I was trying to say. Because I don't want, you know, crushed edges or corners or all that. And I think they know that, so that's why they really protected it. Yes, and please measure. Okay, so I'm going to put a picture of my face in here. No, I'm just <laughs> Let's see. Let's measure this. All right. Um, 11 and a quarter inches by nine inches. And it is three inch ring binder. Three inch, three ring binder. I hope that gives you. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay, so again, <laughs> Although you say sexy helmets, you should, yes, put a picture of myself. We should all put pictures of ourselves in there. Um, the binder is really cute. I think it's a great idea, too. So aren't we supposed to be able to put the things? Yes, that's really cute. So supposedly the whole system, like, um, again, the auto ship is not available right now anymore, so maybe they'll bring some back separately. But um, oh, I'll hope your ship so soon. This is really fun. I, when I saw it, you know me. I was like, I can't believe this is here because it came in last night when I saw it this morning. Because I was like, I would have made a video last night already. Because I have things to do. we got to move it on. Like, even today is um, bust out, right? And I'm like, do it. well, I have plenty of things to bust out. I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do it. Because I have some other videos i got to get to. But uh, hopefully, I'll have time to play with something. I don't know today. Which, actually, this reminds me, I haven't really used my Crafter's Compendium box. I'm like, maybe I should bust that out. Again, I think I've already done a video busting that out. But, uh, okay. The ring binder was what sold me because I'm a beginner. Yeah, Marlene, it looks really cute. Okay, so we have these inserts that... Um, Supposedly you put your dyes in here and stuff, right? Or what? Like, whatever comes like I don't even remember, to be honest. And then um, these things are kind of like... <laughs> I have a bunch of these from um, hand embroidery or cross-stitch that you can put your little, like, magazines in. Cause that's, well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's for any magazine, but they're for magazines. And you just pop it in your binder, and then you put the magazine in that little space, and it holds it for you, right? So that's kind of cute. I like that they have that in there. Yeah, the magazine holders. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Dr. Early, I'm like, it's for a cross... Well, for me, it's for a cross-stitch. That's how I kept my cross-stitch magazines. Um, okay, so let's look at this, and let's set up this binder, I suppose. Or what? That seems odd. Hold on. What's going on here? The holes aren't popped out. <laughs> Look, I was like, how am I going to get these in here? But they're there, just not popped out. So, oh, yay. I'm going to quickly pop these out. 
so we can pop this in. I'm just pushing these little things out. The pockets are to hold projects that you were, oh, okay, no wonder, yeah, 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 when, okay, that, yes, that clicked. I told you, I didn't really have time to, like, watch the whole time, but I was trying to, you know, get some info here and there. And, uh, let's see here. I do remember Suzanne bringing one of her cards out from uh, the little packaging, uh, pocket. <laughs> waiting for your videos, like, waiting for an episode <laughs> Oh, my favorite show. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I don't all right, so there's those. Um, so this is gonna be fun. All right, hold on. So I'm just gonna pop this open. I don't think I'll be returning this, so I'm totally moving in. <laughs> All right, let's pop these in. So we have that. And then I'll pop in those uh, little um, the pockets in just a minute. So. So every time you're going to get like a new like magazine kind of thing showing you what to do or some ideas for your, um, the kit, right? The auto ship kit. And then this, I'm assuming is ideas for this kit already, right? Because otherwise, wow, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Again, the holes aren't popped out, so that's kind of a bummer. I'm not going to sit here. This is going to take way too long. They're, you know, punched. They're just not popped out real well. So I'll probably like grab a few at a time and poke them with a stick or something. <laughs> with a pokey stick, not just a stick. Um, but really cute. So, you know, I mean, it's just like their magazine and the way it's written out. Stamps of Life does have some cute stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have um, on HSN a lot of the LDRS, the little darling rubber stamp, which is so weird. If you go to HSN, you know, click over there, you have the link there. Um, and if you put in LDRS, it only brings up like two items of theirs because it used to be Little Darling Rubber Stamp. And then they have LDRS. And then, but if you put in Little Darling, then a bunch of things come up. And they have a bunch of stuff on clearance. So um, I'm going to pick up a few of those because they're so cute. The little people that you can, uh, just all the scene built, like background building, all that that they do. Um, anyway, um, so, you know, it has a little ideas on making the cards. This one's really cute. But again, you know, some of these you must have you have to have patience for. So this one's saying cut all those circles out with the nesting dies, and then cut them in half basically to make like a little rainbow card. Um, oh, here's the one. <laughs> Remember I asked you, I'm like, this is like a pocket. That's really cute. It's a little notelet holder. So this is how you use the stencil or what you use it for. Cute. Cute. Um, and then again, you know, just a ton of ideas how to layer the paper and all that. I'm not going to go through each one of these because that's kind of a lot. <laughs> um, and then we have this guy. And I can't even put it in the binder yet because i got to pop the holes out. So that is everything in here. That Nola holder is very cute. So there's that. And then as things come in, you know, you're going to have your tabs. That first thing I put in there with the tabs, you can tuck things in between there. The best thing is after you play, you have the instructions. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, let me try to move this up a little bit. All right. <laughs> so what do you guys think? All right. So now I can't wait to get my box. Don't forget your little one at school. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Dad, thank you for the reminder because uh, I won't forget it. But uh, we'll see. They actually brought in the second and third grade now, kids too. But they're, like I said, it's full day every other day. So it's half a class when they go in. So it's a little bit more hectic, but I don't see them because when we drop off our kids, it's a little bit early and then those kids get out later, so. But they're there. It does, yeah, it's like the sub boxes. Again, the, uh, oh, Mary, <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Um, did I get the birthday box? Sandy, what's the birthday box? <laughs> I know, I saw something about birthday or something or other, but I wasn't paying too much attention. Uh, let's see, you used to get kit like this from Carol Duvall. Oh, I remember Carol Duvall's stuff. Like, that was one of the first people I used to watch. And I don't remember what I knew her from before that. Like, when I saw her in crafty videos, I'm like, was she on, like, HGTV? Or, like, was she cook? Like, maybe she would go on, like, Oprah's show. Like, what are the kind of things that Carol Duvall used to do that I remember? I knew who she was, you know? Sarah said it spiced the value in the box. The box. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you guys think after you saw it? Uh, Again, is it worth it? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the birthday box is a mystery box. No, I didn't get this time, but you guys did really like a touch of color. What was it from the last time around? And then some other boxes she had put out that was like a mystery box. That everyone was like, it was really great. So that's great. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It says she's drinking her coffee in her wine mug. It stays warm all day. I'll come back in the evening because I'll sip this all day long. And um, it's still warm. So it takes a long time to get to warm because it stays hot. And then it's just warm the rest of the day. So Carol Duvall was HGTV. Yeah, but I, but see, the thing is, I never even had, you know, cable when I was a kid growing up. I think I got cable when I was like 20 years old. So I don't know. Anyway, maybe the magazines or something. I don't know. She said, don't open till Christmas. Okay, well, don't open till Christmas. Uh, Lisa's like, coffee, sure. I know. It's coffee. Thank you, Rosalia. Yeah, so no, that's, um, that's it, guys. Uh, I think it's cute. When you look at it, I mean, it is a little smaller than I thought, but I think everything's, I think it's really well done, let's say. Other than, you know, like you said, well, maybe some ink, maybe a little, something like that. She was in the 1990s, I was 30, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kara, that's good. She says she thinks it'll be good for when, uh, uh, for inspiration ideas when you can't think of what to do for a card. I've always loved a card sketch or a scrapbook sketch or whatever. If I can see that, then, okay, now I know what to kind of put in proportion. I like that too. Our hobby is expensive regardless. Yeah, I know. And that's why I said, you know, uh, we we're kind of talking about different things or I think, what was it that I showed the other day? Some uh, people were like, oh man, you know, I really, oh, uh, tonic, their gift, their mystery bags. Uh, a lot of people were responding with, yeah, no, I would like to, but oh, you know, I blew my budget on HSN or I don't know, what do you think? And it's like, just get what speaks to you. I, you know, for me, I'm reviewing stuff where I buy things and I try them out, but it's not because I'm like, oh, you should go get it. Go get it right now. Like, no, if you like it, great. If, you know, it seems to work out, you know, wonderful. But I think I'm at that point in my life where it's like, okay, it has to speak to me. <laughs> so this one I knew it might be a little more expensive than I would like, but I was like, you know, I want to try it. So for me, it was worth uh, trying it out. So Hamburg Hicks says, thanks for unboxing it. Yeah, for sure. I was I was surprised to you guys that I got so fast. Like, seriously, what day is today? The fifth? Like, yeah, I'm on the fourth. I ordered it at midnight going into the second. You are an enabler. Okay, fine. I will accept that, <laughs> Mary. But, um, you know, it's fun. Uh, I just don't want you guys to feel like, oh, because I showed it, that means you need to go get it. No. I mean, yeah, if it speaks to you. <laughs> Whether it sparks joy. Everything sparks joy, and I have it here, and it's still here sparking joy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, she said, I just got rid of the really old ultimate end up kicking myself. I know, monkey head, monkey head bunkers. <laughs> um, I have three. I have the original uh, ultimate and then I have two ultimate pros because when they came out with like boards, HSN would have for like, for $10 more, you get the whole system. I'm like, I'll just get the whole system again uh, for whatever reason, even though I would save 10 bucks not buying the whole system, but that's what I would do. So I have a few of them. I hope you guys get yours soon. Yeah, it's fun because that way we can maybe craft along. I need to figure things out because like right now this isn't bad and maybe when I want to do craft along, maybe here at my table would be better and then just like turn the camera. But if I turn the camera this way, that's the way I, I, I always try to, when I edit my videos, I'm just working. The camera's in front of me right over my head, you know, right over. And then I reverse the image or I flip the image so that when you guys see it, you're seeing my hands like they were your hands, right? <laughs> like in this same uh, direction. But... If I do this, you're going to be looking at me this way, and it's backwards, right? But, yeah, I don't know. Sandy White says, yes, let's do that. You guys are so funny. <laughs> yes, we will do that. I'll try to find a better way to set up the camera, too. My husband's like, you need another camera? Like, the other day, oh, Lord, have mercy, because he was here, and I had him involved in um, getting me online and trying to work out the camera, the, you know, computer. He is like... This is what you need. You need this 4K, this, and you need this other thing. You need the streaming. And then he was like, I already put some things in the car on Amazon if you want to look at them. I'm like, I don't want any of that stuff. <laughs> I knew just asking him for a second to come help. I'm like, I, I, I really don't. But I do want a little something to help me out, obviously. It would be better to do some better videos. But uh, behind the scenes of making my videos, uh, it's basically what you're seeing right now. Like, whenever I just sit there, like, literally... I don't know. It is funny though, like that. Yeah, he's my producer now. Oh my gosh. Um, whenever, uh, I think we did that one live real quick and it kept refocusing. It was driving me nuts. Um, and I, well, yeah, Suzanne, thank you. You know, he does, but <laughs> a little too much. I'm like, I, this is going too far already, you know. Uh, mind your business. This is my creative license here. This is what I do. I keep it a little bit, a little bit shoestring. But, um, but he's, yeah. 
He's crazy. But, you know, I didn't even look, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, StreamYard. Okay, StreamYard. People keep mentioning. I'll look into it. I remember, um, what's the other one? People were trying to get into it. I was like, maybe I should get into that because it was kind of early on. I can't even remember the name of the streaming service, but I was like, eh. But, um... <laughs> Network says, when I ask my husband to help me, I have to bring my patients. He really wants the help. <laughs> yeah, no, that's how it is. But um, I said, I already forgot what I was saying. Uh, oh, well, I kept wanting to, like, take a little pause or something. Like, okay, I'm going to cut this. And I wanted to take a pause to cut things or trim things. So that's kind of what I cut out of the video. I was like, I don't do a lot of editing, but the parts where I feel like, uh, it's kind of extra and it's making the video drag on, you know, those are the kind of things I cut out. Or I, you know, when I say, oh, I'll be right back, it's because I'm going to do something basic, you know. Hi, Harry. You're great. Oh, that's so sweet. Zooming? Maybe Zooming. I don't know. I know. I was thinking we should do Zoom, but how many... Uh, uh, that'd be so crazy. I don't even know how to handle that. And then I threw out there the whole idea of maybe doing an exchange um, box or whatever. And it's just like, I think a lot of people are into it, but I don't know what to do. I had to work out the kinks on that one. It would be, it'd be something that's going to take a while to, to get going for everyone to pass around a box and then take what you like, put something that, you know, you want to de-stash in there. That's nice. And then pass it to the next person. That person you know, does the same thing. And um, it's going to be logistics that I need to work out on that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Lisa says, no, Zoom. I and that's the thing. The other day, oh, my gosh. Now that you remind me, my son had um, back to school night on Zoom. And I'm like, on Zoom? We had to look at each other. Like, it's already late in the day. I'm tired. I got to get dressed up to get on the camera. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So... Uh, I see that. And I know you can black out. You just leave it without the camera on, but it's kind of weird, right? So, Aileen had a glue similar project binder system. Had a similar project binder system. Mm, I don't know. Something like this seems familiar to me, like the little inserts, but um, I don't think it was that, for me, not that long ago. <laughs> Do you see the embossing 3D embossing folder, especially the woman? Oh, the leopard print. Yeah, people were really liking that. I, um, I already have something similar to that, like from my Sizzix embossing folders, but they look really cute. You don't have to be on camera. Oh, you know what it is when you mention that, Eileen's? It was, um, it's like a kit that used to come in the, in the mail. I think I had it for like a year. Because that reminds me of this, now that I think about it. It was basically this kind of thing, and it would come with a little separator and then like whatever project items for the next time. That was a long time ago. May 15, 20 years. Eh, probably 15 years ago. Anyhow, oh, hi, Karen. <laughs> We're almost wrapping up, I think, because we just went through everything that was in this, literally everything. Can't wait to try the glitter pens. <laughs> Sandy says she used to get that. Yeah, I remember, I, I can't think of, I don't think it was any, was it a big company? Maybe it was like Creating Cube 6. I don't remember who it was, but I did get that. I remember signing up for that a long time ago. I'm getting a great number of people on my live streams. Oh, yeah, there's almost 200 of us here. Hi, guys. No, this is fun, and hopefully, oh, well, Rosalia, yes, have a good time at Sam's Club. <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up here, too, pretty quickly, because I'm sure people who want to watch this later are going to be like, this video is however long, and she only talked about this other stuff for, you know, half an hour. Uh, but I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, Monkey Head Bonkers says, I'm new to your channel, so this is awesome. I would love to know where you got your name from. <laughs> Monkey Head Bonkers. All right. Oh, she just used to coat brown paper with glue and burn it and paint it. We did all kinds of things, especially like in the late 90s, <laughs> um, I remember. Uh, anyhow, all right, guys. I Oh, Sandy says today is her 50th birthday, so happy birthday, Sandy. My brother just turned 50 a few days ago, which is crazy because I'm the baby of the family, and I'm like, our brother is 50. <laughs> but I guess that's more trippy when the baby turns 40. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, no, big happy birthday. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for spending some time with me, for coming to see the unboxing, and keep an eye out for the videos to come, because I'll try and do a few, right? Obviously, from maybe from there, maybe some ideas of my own, but we'll try to start off with the recipes and see how the recipes work out for us, right? So, um, oh, Marilyn says she's just getting off work. Sorry, miss you sooner. Oh, thank you. Well, thanks for stopping by, and thanks for being here just for the last moments here. So thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate it. Again, the link is in the description box. It's still available with 
Oh, it is still available with the um, machine, just not auto ships. The auto ships aren't there. So if you want just the box, it's still there. If you want this box with the machine, it's still there. Just no auto ship option. But the link is in the description box, and I will see you guys at the next one. Hopefully, I'll have another video today for you guys. Hopefully, it'll be the busted out, but we will see. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now. Oh, there goes my finger. <laughs> Ugh, I still didn't get it. Never, never, never. Bye, guys.